Welcome to this brief tutorial on reading and understanding citations for chapters in books which have many different contributors, and then using the information you find there to locate the books themselves. This is one video in a series. Other videos cover the same process for articles in magazines or journals and in regular books, which do not consist of chapters by many different authors. Citations are a basic feature of academic research, and lists of them have many different names. In some of your classes, you may have been asked to list your sources in APA or MLA format. In this video, we will cover the process of interpreting the citations you find in books or articles or web pages that you run across while doing your research. When you find a citation that you wish to use, you need to answer two basic questions. First, what is it? What kind of publication does this citation represent? Is it a book, a magazine or journal article, a video, a website, or something else? This video covers an example of something else. Secondly, what information do you need in order to find the full text, and what library research tool do you use to find it? Citations come in many styles. As mentioned already, the APA and MLA are the most commonly used ones, but there are many other ways of listing the sources used in doing research. This is complicated, so let's get to work with a specific example. As you start to read the citation, the first thing you see is a name. Then comes a title, usually in quotation marks. Then another title, this time in italics. Then one or several more names. Next comes the publishing info, the place of publication, the name of the publisher, and the date. This is the clearest indication that what we are dealing with is a book. Note the page numbers at the end. So, we have two sets of names and two different titles. What are they? The first name is the author of the chapter in the book. The italicized title is the name of the book itself. The lists of names following the ED for editor are the editors, the people who compiled all the various chapters in the book. Sometimes, but not always, you will see the word in between the chapter title and the book title. This is a dead giveaway that you are dealing with a chapter in an edited book. So what's the information that you need in order to find the book itself? First of all, forget about the author's name or the title of the chapter. The publication info isn't useful at this point either. That leaves the title of the book and the names of the editors. It's usually simpler to search in Alice for the title of the book. If you search by an editor's name, editors are the same as authors as far as Alice is concerned, choose the first one listed. Multiple editors aren't always searchable in Alice. As I've already suggested, the best library tool to use is Alice, our online catalog. Alice lists the books, magazines, journals, newspapers, videos, and other materials in our library collections. In order to find this book, let's search in Alice for the title of the book. Choose the Title tab, then enter the title, and click on the Search button. Here is part of Alice's record for the book. The top part, containing author, title, and publication information, describes the book as it exists in the world. The second part, in the colored box below, gives indication about our copy of the book. You need to note and record both the location and the call number. If the status area says the book is available, that means it should be on the shelves. Use the call number and location information to go find the book. Call numbers can be confusing, and books aren't always where they should be, so don't hesitate to ask any library employee for help. 